Hi, this is Sam Finlay for Stack, and today I'm going to show you an overview of Stack's features. So we click Create New and move into the Stack dashboard. Here you give it a name and choose the page that you want the Stack to be shown on. In the next section we have our trigger actions, so you can choose a variety here, timed, click away, scroll percentage, which would be when a end user scrolls down the page, the percentage of the page that scroll down before the stack is triggered. And we also have exit intent. So for this example, I'll choose timed and add two seconds in. And here we have our stack animations. This is for the forms themselves, the feature forms. So at the moment we have fade, slide in and bounce. Um, we're going to be adding much more in there. Down in choose page animation, this is for the background color that will full page go over the content of the, of the website underneath. So for this I'll choose content push as an example and I'll choose a color down here and set the opacity as well. So up here we have stack layout. This is the drop down menu where you can choose which feature you want to show in your, in your stack, in your pop-up. So we have all the features as shown up here, opt-in, media, timer, survey and offer and then the combination of these. And you can also link between them to create two-step, three-step opt-ins. So for this example I'll choose, I'll use a quick navigation over here and I'll choose timer and offer. Down here you can set a confirmation me message that will be shown to the end user when they finish the steps of your stack or you can redirect them to a new URL. So I'll just put in the basic one here and save my changes. So along the top here we have the buttons that lead to all the different feature sections and for, for this example we need to edit the timer and the offer. So we'll just move through them quickly. As you can see, it's all nicely laid out. So we'll move to the timer first. And here you can edit and completely customize the look and functionality of your timer. So we have general settings here. You can have the timer just by itself. You can add a border, add a close X, you know, add months, years, and make it user aware. Uh, for user aware, this is evergreen. So if you ch check on user aware, you can set a number of days and this will be always shown to a new visitor. So they'll see the same countdown timer, like three, day three days initially. If you turn it off, you can just set an actual close date, which will be the same for everybody that views it. Okay, so for this example, I'll put user aware and add in three days. And I will put time only. So it'll appear like this and save my changes. Next, I'll move over to the Office section. And here I'll show you how to customize the look of your form. So you can choose how many features you want to list. I'll just choose three as the default setting. And I'll also set it so that when this call to action button is clicked, it'll trigger the opt-in form to be shown, creating essentially a two-step opt-in. And I'll add a close X. So here you can edit your text, you just choose the item from the drop down menu that you want to edit and then edit the text here. So for example, subheading, I want to get rid of that, so delete it. Uh, for the button, uh, you know, for example purposes, just put click here. And then down here we can change the colors. So I'll go heading background, I'll make it a dark blue and the form itself I'll make dark grey like that and save my changes. So as this is triggering the opt-in form we'll need to edit that as well so we'll move over there. So here you can if you wish to you can have your own form code provided by your autoresponder service and you can paste that code in there 
this, for this example, I'll use stack, stacks form. Okay, so again, we can add borders, include an X, etc. I will include an X, and as you can see across these, the layout is generally the same, and here as well. So we have the text and the color settings here, which we can edit. So I'll just edit the button text and say, you know, get instant access, and I'll change the colors to similar colors as my offer form. Like that. I make that a bit lighter. And I'll also get rid of the subheading. Okay. You can also make it so it's just the email as well, which I'll do. So hide the name field. Down here, you can connect to your autoresponder provider. We have all the major ones in there. And as mentioned, if yours isn't in the list, you can just add in your form code. So we'll save those changes. And we'll preview the page, see how it's looking. So we have the two second timer on, so it'll boom. Then we show the animation and the bounce animation for the stack itself. As you can see, the timer shows, we have a feature list. And then when the call to action is clicked, it'll go through to the email opt-in form, as you can see. So we'll close that off, go back to our stack, and I'll show you our great feature, which is our full page HD backgrounds. So if you go down here, turn off the animation for the background, you'll see that there's image and video options. So I'll show you image first. So here you can paste in an image URL or upload an image. So I've got a cityscape background here, which I'll grab the URL for and paste it in. Save my changes. And we'll preview the page now. So there we go, two seconds. And then the stack was triggered. And now we have our form shown over the HD image background. Same as before. So now I'm going to show you the, a really cool feature which really beautifies your websites in a really easy manner. So it's very simple. You just click video. And then, you, you know, if you have your own backgrounds on YouTube, you can grab them or you can just search one. So here I found a, a nice space background, which I'll copy out. Just copy the URL and paste it in here. That's it, save changes. And I'll do one thing, I'll change the timer. Turn the background color to a dark color. to match the rest of the form. So we'll save those changes. Go back to our dash. And this time I'll publish our stack, which will make it live. As you can see. So now that is live and you can see here, we have options in the list. You can keep editing it. You can duplicate your stack and just make a few changes and use it on a different web page. You can view it live. And you can also check out the analytics and then quickly turn it on and off. So let's have a look at it with the HD video background. So we have our two second trigger and our video loading. So it's a great way to grab a viewer's attention with a really beautiful pop-up and create the perfect environment for them to follow through in the way that you want them to. Okay. I'll close that off. Come back here and I'll show you the analytics section. So here you'll see our analytics and just from me looking at it we have 
those coming back here, so three views, two clicks. And in this section, you can export your emails as a CSV file. If you have not connected your autoresponder, you can just export them that way. If you're running a survey, you can export the survey answers as a CSV as well to analyze your market research data. And over here we have you know, the basic stats coming across, but we also have sales revenue and APC. So we have a tracking pixel, which you can place onto your thank you pages. You can set your unit worth for your product, how much it's worth, and then Stack will calculate your sales and your revenue and your earnings per click. Down here, you can jump between different stacks once you've made them, quickly compare data, and you can also preview the page if you wish. So we'll move back to stacks. So that's a general overview of, of Stack and its features. There's still lots more in here that I haven't shown you. There's We have the media section where you can add video and images to your opt-in forms and your pop-ups in general and combine those together with your HD image backgrounds and video backgrounds. We have surveys in here where you can go really deep on your questions and get lots of in-depth market research for your products and then you can link those through to your opt-in forms so you can you know, offer an ebook in return for them filling out your survey etc. Create lots of interactive campaigns for your site visitors and then you can you can also the dash with these big stacks you can combine more items together and really customize things to exactly suit your campaign. Okay that's the general overview of stack. Thanks for watching.